EA and Activision just dropped a bomb on PC gamers. If you not have TPM 2.0 and secure boot turned on, you are running no optional setting, just locked out. Battlefield 6 beta players are already hitting secure boot feature is not enabled errors. And when Black Ops 7 launches, it will be same story. Mandatory, no exceptions. In this video, I will explain what these settings are, why they matter and walk you step by step through turning them on so you can get in the game. Battlefield 6 did not even bother with a soft launch. They slammed the gate shut on day 1. Beta players can't even see the main menu without these settings enabled. It's like going to your favorite concert. Sorry, we are only letting in people with a built-in security chip in their brain. If you don't have it, you are outside. Frustrating, absolutely it is. But here is why they are doing it and why it might not be as evil as it sounds. Let's break down what these two things actually are without all the boring tech speak. TPM 2.0 Imagine a tiny vault built into your motherboard. It stores special keys that Pro your PC has not been tampered with. No vault, it's way easier for hackers to sneak in and mess with your files or in gaming terms drop embers into your match. Secure boot This is your PC's doorman. Every time you start your computer, Secure Boot checks every single piece of software trying to load. If something suspicious shows up, it slams the door in its face before it even wakes windows up. Put them together and you get a serious cheat prevention wall. Competitive PC gaming has been crawling with cheats for years. M hacks, wall hacks, scripts that make recoil disappear. Even cheats that run outside of windows so anti-cheat software can't see them. And game companies, they are losing players and money because honest players quit when cheaters take over. So EA and Activision are moving the fight below windows to the hardware level where cheats have a much harder time living. TPM 2.0 and Secure Boot give them that control. Now where is the funny part? A lot of gaming PCs already have TPM 2.0 and Secure Boot available but they are just turned off. If your PC is less than 5 years old, you probably have it. If you are on older rig, Sorry, but you might be out of luck until you upgrade. That's why you will see some players casually posting works fine for me while others are ready to throw their tower out of the window. So how to check and enable them? Check TPM 2.0. Press Windows key plus R. Type TPM.msc and hit enter. If it says TPM is ready for use and shows version 2.0, you are good. If it says not found, it might just be off in your BIOS, not missing completely. Next check secure boot, press windows key plus R, type msinfo32 and hit enter. Look for secure boot state, on you are fine, off needs to be enabled in BIOS. Then restart your PC and spam F2, F10 or delete during boot whichever your motherboard uses. Inside BIOS find TPM, FTPM or security device turned on. Secure boot, enable it. Save changes and reboot. You have done all that. Your PC reboots, you hit launch game and instead of that soul crushing error message, you are in. That's when you realize you are just beat the security wall. You are finally in the lobby and you can actually play the game you have been hyped for all year. It's a small victory but for gamers that's everything. This isn't just about Battlefield 6 or Black Ops 7. Other developers are watching. If EA and Activision pull this off and keep cheating down, expect more studios to follow. By 2026, we could be in a world where TPM 2.0 and Secure Boot are just standard for every competitive game. It's going to annoy some people now, but long term, it might save multiplayer gaming from being a cheater's playground. Don't wait until launch day to figure this out. Check your PC now, get it set up and be ready to jump straight in when the servers go live in Black Ops 7. And if you want more gaming fixes and insider tips, hit that subscribe button or check out the window on screen right now.